Okay, so you need to watch this. That is probably the sickest, if if not one of the sickest, if not the sickest thing I have done on the airsoft field, apart from like really long sniper snots, sniper snots, sniper shots when they like go through a very tight gap in a tree and hit. That gameplay, like I felt like a badass. I watched it back and was like, I am a badass. But there was one thing which is very saddening about it, and that's the camera angle. My bloody GoPro on the day. So, I, to be fair, I, I've been having some issues with my GoPro. Where is it? Here it is. Look, I've been having some issues with my GoPro in that it wasn't connecting to my phone. So, I'd get to an airsoft site. I'd set my GoPro up. And I didn't really have a way of checking to make sure it was looking where I needed it to look. Which makes me very sad. So, I spent some time the other day uh, sorting out the Wi-Fi so I could connect to it. Check it from my phone. Make sure it's looking in the right place. And now that's all, you know, mm, it's all cushy. It's all good. It's great. And that's something which I'm happy about. But that still doesn't solve a big problem. And the big problem is when you're out on a skirmish, you're running around, you're, you're going through trees, you're, you know, you're putting your hand up maybe. Uh, you're looking through little wooden panels and stuff to try and see where the enemy is. And you know what happens. You bloody knock your GoPro. It bends around, you know, it may go like that, it may go like that, but either way, it changes the angle. And when it changes the angle, you don't get to see all the cool stuff. And I've got an example of the cool thing that you miss, that you didn't see. And you're going to have to believe me on this one when I say what happened, because it legit did happen. Oh, this is what I <laughs> no way, no way! I shot that out of the air! I shot a grenade out of the air. And legit, last weekend, after my John Wick gameplay that you saw at the start, I was having a little bit of a, you know, a, a, you know, back and forth, back and forth with this guy. He threw a grenade, and I shot it out of the air. I mean, this was my reaction. <laughs> she legit shot that out of the air. I wouldn't be that hyped if I didn't. Why would I even, like, come up with the idea and say it just to say to some random guy behind me who I'm not going to remember who that is? Like, I legit shot that grenade out of the air. He didn't throw it in and hit the wall and bounce back. He didn't like throw it rubbishly so it landed in front of him. I shot it out of the air back at him. And you didn't bloody see it because my GoPro wasn't facing the right way. And that makes me really sad, really sad. So I I have decided I wanted to come up with a solution. I wanted to fix this problem, which has probably been plaguing a plethora of people throughout the ages and I, I wanted to fix it properly so it was good and fixed so that no one's ever going to have this issue again. So look what I made. I made this. Oh no, not that one. I made this. So they come in a pack of four. You get four in a pack. You may have guessed it. You get one, two, three and four. Let me get them out of here. So there's number one. Once again, number one on the front. Project Airsoft on the top. Bit of tape on the back. Two on there. Then of course you've got three. And then number four. Now the difference between them all is they're all different angles. So as you can see, that's number four. That's number one. Quite a big difference. And then two and three, you, you get the gist. They're all in the, in the between. They're all in the middle of it. What these do, you stick them on your GoPro mount so they're snugly in there. And then if your GoPro gets hit backwards, it doesn't go anywhere. And if your GoPro gets hit forwards, all you do is you grab the camera, you tilt it back all the way it can go, and then you've got the perfect angle again. Isn't that amazing? Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this one to my GoPro so you can see how it works. All you do is you take your GoPro, you drop in your little angle there, and then you move your GoPro so your angle is flush. So it wants to go down a little bit. 
yeah, there you go. So the angle is flush there with my GoPro. You then wear the GoPro, you look around, you use your phone, you make sure that's the right angle. And if that is the right angle, then all you do is you take the back of the tape, you unpeel the tape, and then you pop it in there, stick it on, and then boom, that's it. Jobs are good. And although I, I say that's the perfect angle, I haven't tried it wearing my hat yet because I airsoft wearing, wearing this hat here. So let's swap hats and let's try it. This is kind of what I look like when I'm airsofting. Let me, let me give a camera on. Doo, doo, doo. We have camera. There we go. So what we do is, I know that's already at angle of number one. So we'll pop the hat on, the, the hat, the GoPro on the hat, because I run it like this. And then what I'll do is, let's grab a gun. There's, there's a gun. Well, it's a riff. It's not a gun. I also wear other stuff on my head, but this is sufficient for now. What, so what I do is, I'll, I'll essentially do some gun handling whilst looking at the preview to then see if I'm looking in the right place. That angle is very much no. So we don't want to use that one. We want to try, let's try, let's try number three. Cool, that's a number three mount. Oh, number three. Number three looks perfect. With the number three, that's what it looks like when I'm iron sighting. That's if I'm being all cool, looking at my enemy. And then if I'm gonna come up to a, a door, There we go. That was a successful test. So we take our little block, number three block, suss out roughly where that's gonna go. Peel off the pre-stuck sticky back tape and stick it right on there. And just like that, we have got ourselves a little sticky block on there that is saving that GoPro angle. It's not gonna go anywhere at all. So now when I'm playing Airsoft, and I'm recording some sick content for you guys. All I need to do is put my GoPro on. It doesn't matter if it's like this, gets knocked forward. If it gets knocked backward, it's not going anywhere. All I need to do, push it back, and that's gonna be the perfect angle every time. And that's like legit, this kind of like embodies the entire reason of why I've been like making airsoft parts with my printer as you can see it's printing away mm, magic that's exactly the reason why i want to build parts for airsoft is that i want to make it easier for you guys to enjoy airsoft and go airsofting so whenever i run into a problem or find something which i think could be improved i'm going to try and make something that will then make it better um better for you so yeah keep an eye out thanks for watching i hope this has helped you out and again once again here's that clip of me shooting the grenade out of the air. Oh, this is what I no way! No way! I swear I shot it out of the air. I swear I did! It happened, okay? Just trust me. Don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, check out the website, Project Airsoft Dakota UK. Check out the eBay, there's tons of stuff in there as well. The link's all in the description. And I shall see you. I don't know what arms are doing. I'll see you in the next video. There's more there's cool stuff there's more cool stuff coming as well. Like look at that. You can put a 40mm grenade in there. Beautiful.